Some trolls live under bridges. Others live on message boards. You don't really know why, but you want to justify ripping someone's head off. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 troll moments ever to happen on the web. So take a look what you've done, cause baby now we got bad blood. For this list, we're taking a look at instances where people have purposefully made offensive or antagonizing online postings, or in an attempt to elicit an angry response. That's simple. All you have to do is go... <laughs> I mean my own breathing. Number 10. The Fred Durst Society of the Humanities and Arts. Should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? It's kind of sad. Back in 2011, the people of Austin, Texas voted on a new name for the city's Solid Waste Services Department. Many individuals submitted potential names, although some of them had no connection to waste management. Suggestions included Department of Neat and Clean, Ministry of Filth, and Hufflepuff. The winner, however, was the Fred Durst Society of the Humanities and Arts. Suggested by Kyle Henches, the name received almost 30,000 votes. Believe it or not, the Limp Biscuit vocalist actually seemed enthusiastic about the online poll, tweeting, quote, I want to thank all of you who are helping me in Austin. I hope we win. Regardless, the city ultimately decided to call the department Austin Resource Recovery. How inspired. So come and get it! Number 9. Taylor Swift's Biggest Fan Contest When Boston's KISS 108 FM set up a contest for one lucky fan to meet Taylor Swift in 2013, they probably expected young girls to be the target demographic. In an unexpected turn of events, the winner was a grown man named Charles Z. After an anonymous user saw that Charles had entered the contest, they started a petition on behalf of their quote-unquote creepy 39-year-old friend. Voters decided to give Charles the chance to meet the country pop star and sniff her hair. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Upon seeing that Charles had claimed the top spot, the radio station canceled the contest, stating that its integrity had been, quote, compromised. Way to crush Chucky's dreams. Yeah, well, we're sure he'll... Shake it off, shake it off. Number 8. Operation Troll the NSA My name is Edward Snowden. Uh, I go by Ed. Um, Edward Joseph Snowden is the full name. After Edward Snowden leaked classified documents, the National Security Agency was exposed for tapping into the systems of various U.S. internet companies using a surveillance program called PRISM. So long as everyone is being surveilled, no one has standing to sue. The internet retaliated with Operation Troll the NSA, a website dedicated to jamming the intelligence organization's spy scanners. Providing a keywords of terror-filled script, the online countdown encouraged people to call or email someone at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on June 12, 2013. Just imagine millions of Americans using words like overthrow, oppressive, and bomb all at the exact same time. While this act of rebellion probably didn't change anything, it's safe to say the NSA got the message. Well, that's a fuck up. It is a fuck up. Number seven, Justin Bieber to North Korea, also known as Project North Korea is Best Korea. You can't kill us all. We will protect the chosen one. Justin Bieber attracts internet trolls like flies to honey. In 2010, an online poll was launched to determine where Bieber would perform next on his My World Tour. All the non-believers on 4chan seized this opportunity to send the young musical artist to North Korea. On Faxo's poll page, North Korea came out on top with over 650,000 votes. And this wouldn't be the last time something like this happened. In 2012, a petition was started to send rapper Pitbull to Kodiak, Alaska using the hashtag ExilePitbull. First we thought it was a joke. We're like, he's not gonna come to Kodiak, Alaska. No one in, in 
in the right state of mind thought that we'd make uh, this much news all around the world. As for Bieber, he never went to North Korea, since the contest reportedly wasn't, quote, legitimate. Looks like America is stuck with the Biebs, unless he gets deported back to Canada. You're still in the game? Are you ready to Canada and go home to Canada? Nope, you're still in the game then, right? Number six, Patton Oswalt trolls Twitter. Just throwing off things at both ends. We'll leave it at that. Sometimes celebrities get in on the fun too. Comedian Patton Oswalt became one of Twitter's most notorious trolls when he sent out several ignorant tweets involving abortion, rape, NAMBLA, and various other controversial subjects. Naturally, many of his followers were infuriated. Upon further inspection, however, people realized that the joke was on them. Each offensive tweet was merely one half of a two-part statement. For example, when Oswald wrote, whites and dark should be kept separate, he was actually talking about laundry. Whether you found the prank funny, outrageous, or a bit of both, nobody can deny Oswald is a master of his craft. Weren't you that hate crime guy? <clears throat> Excuse me? You totally were. You're the hate crime guy. Oh my God, why didn't you just say that? Now I know who you are. Number five, Dub the Dew. Yet another online poll invaded by 4chan trolls, the Dub the Dew campaign was intended to help Mountain Dew select the name for a green apple soft drink. As you might have guessed, the poll soon became littered with unsuitable name suggestions, such as Gushing Granny, Fapple, and Diabetes. Every year, over 800,000 people rely on Liberty Medical for their diabetes testing supplies. The top choice, however, was Hitler did nothing wrong. On top of that, Hackers also took over the website, incorporating a banner that read, quote, Mountain Dew salutes the Israeli Mossad for demolishing three towers on 9-11. Mountain Dew later admitted on Twitter that Dub the Dew definitely lost to the internet. In all honesty though, wouldn't it have been pretty awesome if they'd named it Soylent Green? Soylent Green, it's refreshing. You gotta tell them, Soylent Green is people! Number four, Nathan Fielder ruins relationships. I love you. Again. I love you. Again. Comedian Nathan Fielder likes to use Twitter as a platform to instigate hysterical pranks. On one occasion, he asked his followers to text their parents and hit them up for drugs. On the heels of that ingenious prank, Fielder set out to ruin even more relationships. This time, he instructed people to text their significant other a message saying, I haven't been fully honest with you. They would then wait an hour before responding. The prank left countless lovers confused, distressed, and devastated. Alas, sometimes you need to break a few hearts for the sake of comedy. No, it's, it's still too soon. We need to take things slow, we just met. It's okay. Number three, Cosby meme. say the darndest things, especially when the subject of them is facing rape accusations. After decades of building a family-friendly reputation, Bill Cosby's image was shattered when multiple women accused him of sexual assault. She doesn't want me in there. Oh yes, she does want you in there, sir. But she yelled at me. <laughs> women are like that. Just when it looked like his PR nightmare couldn't possibly get any worse, fuel was added to the flames. Cosby's social media team dared people to meme him. This, of course, ended up being a huge miscalculation, as Cosby's website was quickly flooded with a tidal wave of memes, none of which portrayed him in an especially positive light. The meme generator was later removed, but the internet wasn't done taking shots at the once-beloved comedian. And it may never be. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life! Number two, over 9,000 penises. Let me read you something that was posted on our message boards from someone who claims to be a member of a known pedophile network. Originating from Dragon Ball Z, It's Over 9000 has become one of the most widespread memes on the web. Vegeta, what did you say his power level is? It's over 9000! 9000?! There's no way that could be right! In 2008, an anonymous user got Oprah Winfrey, that's right, THE Oprah Winfrey, to reference this popular meme on her talk show. It said this, he doesn't forgive, he does not forget, his group has over 9,000 penises, 
and they're all raping children. Winfrey had no idea she was being trolled, however. Claiming to be a member of a fictional pedophile network, the user left a post on the Oprah.com message boards, stating, quote, Our group has over 9,000 penises, and they are all raping children. When Oprah read this message on television, anime fans everywhere dropped their jaws. While pedophilia is no laughing matter, this moment did result in more hilarious memes. Just remember, Oprah does not forgive, and Oprah does not forget. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. 4chan takes over the Time 100 magazine poll 4chan! 4chan is responsible for some of the most epic troll moments ever, but nothing can quite top the time they took over a Time magazine poll. In 2009, the magazine set up their annual poll, the Time 100, for the world's most influential people. Coming out on top of the list with 16 million votes was Moot also known as Christopher Poole, the founder of 4chan. Somebody at Time at the magazine thought it would be fun to nominate me for this, this thing they did last year. And so they, they placed me on it, and the internet got wind of it. My community decided they wanted me to win it. I didn't instruct them to do it, they just decided that that's what they wanted, and so, you know, 390% approval rating isn't so bad. There's little doubt that Poole's legion of followers had something to do with these results. Said followers also managed to ensure the first letter of the poll's top 21 nominees spelled out Marble Cake, also the game, which is the name of a 4chan communication channel. But what conversations did you or do you have with your mother about 4chan? At first, very kind of pained, awkward conversations. Uh, the site is, the content is not dinner table conversation. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite troll moment ever to happen on the web? The internet detectives came out, they matched, they found his MySpace, they, they took the YouTube video and they matched up everything in the video and within 24 hours, they had his name. Uh, and within 48 hours, he was arrested. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Peace out, world. Peace out.